Hey everyone, so today I have a day at the zoo video for you guys. This is mostly going to be a voiceover video as there was a lot of background noise. So this was the morning that we went. It was a beautiful morning, but it was super foggy. And it took about two hours to get there. So this was Damien on our way there. He was sleeping. And Kyle and I were on either side of him in the back of the van. My parents were in the front, my dad was driving, and Michaela was in the middle of the van um, in her wheelchair. So when we got there, we had to register with Michaela's eye therapy group, because that's who actually invited us for free. And we got wristbands, and Michaela was also given a t-shirt. And then after that, the zoo didn't open until 10, and we were there about 9.30. So we just took some pictures, um family pictures and things like that before we went in. So at 10.30 we were scheduled to have an animal encounter and we went to this big red tent and we all sat there waiting for the animal and we weren't sure what it was going to be but then they brought in a lion cub and his name was Congo. He was the cutest thing ever. We were allowed to actually go up and pet Congo and you would expect Congo to be very soft, but the hair on a lion is actually very coarse. So after the lion encounter, we were allowed to veer off. You go across this stream and a bridge, and then you end up at the wolves. And they were beautiful, um, but it kind of sucks seeing them in such a small area. But you were able to actually feed the animals with these little nugget type things. So that's what someone is doing right now. They're throwing them to the wolves. Cool. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you got half your face. <laughs> Next up was the lions, and this was actually Congo's mother and father. The zookeeper actually told us their names, but I can't even remember them. Beside the lions was actually another lioness and this tiger, which is my favorite. And they actually grew up together since they were cubs, so that's why they're in the same cage. Did you come over just to see me or what? Oh, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> so you want to get up and see? Wow. You know what? He thinks everyone has food. <laughs> In this clip here, you can see that the tiger gets really excited, and we weren't sure why, but then later we found out that this tiger does not like strollers, so he gets all excited when a stroller goes by. So my dad was actually walking with Michaela in her wheelchair, and that's why he got all freaked out. This is Congo's brothers and sister, and his sister's name is Frida, and the boys' names are Aslan and Roman. <laughs> Look at the the other I'm one. Get him. <laughs> get off me. Like I can't believe guy. I touched one. It's like that guy, Holly man. It's like that guy trying to tag me and Holly's like, no, 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 no. He'll play with you. No. Oh. Oh. Here we are walking up to the nil guy. I believe it's called. Hi. How's it going? Don't take my camera either, please. A blue bowl. Do you think they walk by this fence much? Yeah, really. Wow. Oh, big guy. Look at that. Yeah, I know. She's nice, eh? <laughs> She's just got a big long tongue. <laughs> And here is the well-known camel. They were actually just given carrots to eat. As you can see in the left top-hand corner, the guy is like raking up 
um, all their droppings, so that's why he fed them. Next to the camels were the Owdads. Uh, they are a goat crossed with an antelope, or known as a Barbary sheep. Here you'll see the common eland or the antelope, the regular antelope. And then over here you will see, I believe, is a water buffalo. This is a swamp deer, like the regular deer you see in the woods. There is another name for it, so I'll just insert it now, but I can't pronounce it. This is Robbie. He was in a different area of the zoo. He's a lot more playful than the other tiger you saw. We were actually told that he was rescued from an apartment building. He was there since he was a cub, so he was in a horrible spot before here. I can't go up anymore. We have to go around. Mm. We'll go back down around. Here he comes. Beautiful. Do you see the tiger? Do you? Oh, he's coming, Bomb. Monkey man. See, he's can't get him to go after his shirt. Oh. So as you can probably tell, this is a smaller zoo, and that's because it is pretty much a rescue zoo, and they send the wildlife back into the wild. So this is an animal theater, I believe they called it. It's just basically a theater stage where they bring animals out and show you different tricks and things like that and talk about the animals. Um, it was really great, actually. We enjoyed it quite a bit. So this is Congo once again. To a fenced-in game reserve in Africa. It's not going to happen. It makes them more fit, more healthy. And this is Robbie, the playful tiger weapon. that you saw before. This is something you can teach a dog or cat at home, and that's how to roll over. You put the meat stick beside the ear, and the tiger rolls over. As you can see, Robbie enjoys this. He's got a very close relationship with his trainer, Josh. They've been working together for many years. And Robbie is an ambassador for tigers all over the world. And let's see, is that you going to go? So this is a servo, and his name was Atsu, and for short, Atsi. He is not bad. Let's hear for This is actually Kangaroo Jack, and he was actually the one that played in the movie Kangaroo Jack. And he's incredibly strong. Normally when kangaroos stand up, they stand right up on their tail and they put their head back. So this was Lucas the Belgian horse, the zebra named Major, and Rusty the miniature horse. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, she is big. They're all fat. Look at her ear. Yeah, beautiful. Look at her first. Look at the guy up there just hanging out. Look at him. That's cool. Look at that. I want to see him go in the chair. Right. Last one. Not a I'm almost done for some 
How's that beautiful? Huh? Get to lay down for a bit. Hmm? Get to lay down for a bit. So at 3 o'clock they had the large cat feeding and this was definitely the coolest part of the day or one of them anyways and they just feed the cats raw chicken and this is Congo's parents and I actually figured out the names for them. The mother is Kia and the father is Leo. What do you want to see it? I'm going to give her <laughs> As you can see by the size of his teeth, he's still absolutely a lion, even though he's not charging the fence to get the check in. Um, check <laughs> This is the lion and tiger in the cage that you saw before, and I actually figured out their names as well. His name, the tiger, is Butch, and her name is Athena. Everybody thinks lions early. are the biggest cats in the world. They're not. The Siberian tiger's the biggest cat. <laughs> <laughs> This zookeeper was actually telling us that if you see any palm oil in your foods, this is actually made from tiger, um, the Samaritan, no, Samatran tiger, and they're a smaller tiger with darker fur and closer stripes together and he was just explaining that if we wanted these tigers to live that we should not buy palm oil because that's where they get it from so that's absolutely horrible so I encourage you guys to not buy palm oil or like he said uh, contact the company and ask them to use a different type of oil so that they're not harming the tigers anymore. Are we going home now? Yeah, we're going home now. What do you think? Yeah, Yagi. Hi, Mug Man. Yeah, you not going to smile now? <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, you're funny. The colors on the trees were so beautiful that day. I just wanted to show you guys on the way home. So on the way home, we actually stopped at Boston Pizza for dinner. And me and my mom had the dipper, I believe it was called. It used to be called the Boston Cheesesteak. Um, my dad had the Reuben and Kyle had... The pizza burger, so this was my dinner there. It was delicious. I was, oh, I was so excited that they had it. And this was the after, after we finished. It was so good. Anyways, guys, that was the day at the zoo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.